Okay, so this is second TV company I'm going to be looking at, which is Anchor TV. They did some very revolutional things and actually affected the TV landscape within the UK and the world more than people realise. So, Anglia TV operated in the east of England, so that would have been Norfolk, Suffolk, um, southern Lincolnshire, Bury St Edmunds, which is now part of the London Boroughs. So, they operated out of Anglia House, which is pictured here, which is no longer operating the TV studio. It has been bought by the local council. So in this video, I'm going to concentrate on local content, so content that never really left the region. So the first thing they did, they had an Irish man called Patrick Anthony, um, which he morphed into a TV chef. Now, TV shows in the 80s and 70s were more informative than entertaining. So Patrick Anthony was one of the first TV chefs to actually show people how to cook a different cuisines from different um, areas of the world um, and food landscape in the 80s was changing very vastly and again another TV chef from Norfolk is Adelia Smith um, she went on to have a show with the BBC we look at the BBC and the difference here and the different season so anyway on to it now they used to have small sections between each show, so they wouldn't have enough TV adverts to cover, which they normally do now. And they would have a continuity announcer. And one of the sections they had, they had a birthday club. Now, this started out very formal and things like that. They had a small puppet. In the early days of the videos I can see, it's very well behaved. And there must have been a competition with the different presenters because as the years went on and certainly by the 90s I do seem to remember this puppy got more and more and more naughtier and out of hand and it must have been a competition to see who could put up with the puppet um, as it got more and more naughtier so Angley TV nearly got defunct a lot earlier than it did a company called Free East TV uh, was a very serious competitor, nearly took over the franchise, and Anglia TV would have been ceased to be. So, what did they do and what did Anglia TV? They changed the eye then, so they got rid of the night, and they had this hideous sign here, yes. So, in the next episode, I'm going to be talking about Anglia TV's national television programs and there were a lot of them and it may be into two videos um so anyway please like please subscribe and thank you for those that have subscribed thank you very much good night